Welcome all, Ultimate here. And today we are here with Big Boy. Big Boy Zhang, man. Big Daddy Zhang Lee. But before I get into the video, man, I want to thank everybody that came through on my stream on Saturday, man. That shit was a fucking blast. The giveaway was dope, man. We was having some problems here and there, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that shit ended up ending really great. Everything went smoothly. Man, I, I really want to thank y'all so much for coming through. And definitely know there will definitely be plenty of more big ass giveaways in the future. Like, this is not the end. I don't want anybody to think, oh, this is the end. No, it is not. No, it is not, bro. There will be plenty more to come. So definitely stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I've I've been hearing a lot that Zhang Li might be coming back in 1.5 this is really just my hopes and dreams i'm not even gonna lie like i don't know anything you know what i mean like it's just my hopes and dreams that i hope he come in 1.5 and i've been getting certain people in my chat saying like oh john lee might be uh banner might be coming in 1.5 1.5 so i want to add in this disclaimer i am not accurate this is not accurate you know what i'm saying i know for a fact that most likely he he might not I don't know, but if he do, that shit will be fucking dope. I love this character. If y'all don't already know by now, this is my favorite character in the game. He will be the first character I will ever see six. First five star character I will ever see six. And probably he might be the first five. He might be the only five star I ever see six. Unless another five star come out that I just really enjoy, dude. Like this man here is just outstanding, bro. But... Who, who I think might end up being in the banner with him if it do come out in 1.5. I really feel like it might end up being Ning Wong. Because Ning Wong been out. I think she came out with last banner with um, Hu Tao. If I'm not mistaken. I think. I think. I'm not sure. But if they put Ning Wong. Because Noel is out right now. So I know if he do come in 1.5. Noel definitely not going to be put back up in another banner. It would be Ning Wong, Fischl, and Jing Chu. If they put these three in a banner with Zhang Li, that shit would be fucking broken, bro. That would be amazing. I really feel like Jing Chu, just because he can really let your main DPS, you know what I'm saying, like shine. Because you could pop his O or just pop his um E. And then, you know, you had a little water thing going around him. Plus, it... it it heals you on top of that. And then if you pop his ult, wow. And then you can swap to any character. You have Zhang Li out there attacking nonstop with the water blades just going at the enemy. And then if you have Fischl on top of that with her bird. And Fischl hasn't, Fischl haven't been in the banner in a while. I haven't seen Fischl in the banner in a while, bro. So they have definitely been holding off on her. And she is definitely an outstanding fucking character, bro. And these two together... These two together in one banner would be broken, bro. You would get nothing but that dang on um, electricity and water pairing. Dude, it'll be fucking ridiculous. It would be fucking ridiculous. And that'll work so well with Zhang Li because, you know, he's not pyro and he's not ice and he's not water. He's geo. And everybody know geo reactions is hot ass. Geo reactions it is hot ass, bro. Like some fucking crystals, really? You know what I'm saying? Like his shield is way better than them fucking crystals that the Geo shits give you. But pairing him up with these two as a support or as a main DPS and you just use Zhang Li as a support. This team, these four stars right here is outstanding. And then Ning Wong on top of that. So you have two Geo people on one team. You will get the Geo bonus. Plus Ning Wong does amazing Geo damage, bro. Does top notch geo damage. Then you got Zhang Li that guarantees your shield every single time. So you'll always have that 15% extra damage with the shield. And then her, she buff your geo damage even more when you run through her shield. So this is the three that I really feel like that might be in his banner. And if they do do that, oh man, it'd be fucking over with. It would be fucking over with, bro. But that's going to be it for the banner. Now... I want to get into some pros and cons of him. Now, it's not going to be a lot of cons because this dude is just so fucking amazing. Like, I think it'll probably only be like two or three things wrong with him at the most. You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and get into it. So, 
so his first pro, his first pro, which is one of, not one, the most important thing about this man that makes him so fucking good is his fucking E. You need, this is, I would definitely recommend, this should be the first thing that you level up is his E. Because it's that good. It is that good. Do you want to make sure that your team stay shielded and stay alive, man? And I'm going to hit you with two back to back. Like, you see this? Come on now. You cannot tell me that this man's shield is not good. Look, and only, only, only got level six. And it's just now breaking. Here come number two. This comes second. Big boy alt. Big boy alt, man. Man, I just sit here, run around in a circle. Going ahead. Ew. But when you find a lot of people, it seems to resonate plenty. When you, of course, you know what I'm saying? When you're fighting multiple people now. Don't worry about that little hundred thigh, thigh out right there. You know what I'm saying? But look at look at this, dude. I'm not even trying. I literally just had my hand off my mouse for a while, bro. This shit is so easy. Come here. Goodbye. Get the hell out of my face, man. He makes... Dude, he makes playing this game a breeze, dog. Like, I can give this... If I had a little brother that was about, what, five? I can just throw him on him. Throw him on this game with him. And he'll do this shit easily, man. Easily. This man here is fucking ridiculous. His shield plus his ult back to back? Come on, man. You you can't beat that, bro. You cannot beat that. This man is definitely top three best characters in the game. Hands down. You cannot argue with me and tell me, oh, well, so and so. Who is better than Zhang Li that is able to do everything solo? by himself without worrying about dying then plus this man can heal if you get him all the way up to c6 yes i know that you have to spend a lot of money for that but if you do this man can heal himself and then i think it's constellation 2 where every time you pop your alt it gives you a shield meaning you will most likely never be down you'll never have downtime on this man's shields meaning most likely you'll never be touched come on man come it's too much good shit with this dude bro and then teams, you, man, don't talk about teams with him, man, because everybody works with him. You can put anybody with this man, and he will work phenomenal. Like, everybody else you would have to pair, like, oh, okay, well, you can't stick chung -un on everybody. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you can't stick him on a team with everybody because he will fuck up other people's damage because he gives you ice unless you're running him on with the alt, and I don't know who the fuck just runs him for alt. You know what I mean? Like, it's so many people on here that just pairs perfectly with him. Everybody pairs perfectly with Zhang Li. You can't go wrong. And he's Geo, and he applies the shield. He can, if you get it all the way up, he got crowd control with his alt. If you give him the C6, he can heal you too. Come on, man. Come on. You cannot tell me that this dude is definitely not, if not the best, but he is definitely top three. He is top three. I definitely give top three to Venti too. Venti definitely in the top three, hands down. If not, Venti might definitely be number one. Because he literally makes damn near every enemy in the game. Like, you can't do shit with every enemy in the game, bro. Like, you got Venti out, and ain't shit they could do. And shit they could do, bro. Make, you know what I'm saying? This game so much easier. Then you put him... And Jun Lee on the same team together? Dog, you just boy. You you are asking to break the game, bro. You are asking to break the game. Next, I'm about to talk about some weapons for this man. And this is another reason why I like him and Venti so much. This is another reason why I put him in top three. He I'll probably say definitely top two. At least if if not top three, he top two. Him and Venti, one, two. Whichever one, they, they can battle back with each other just because of their weapon choices, too. You do not need a good weapon for this man. You don't. I could put any of these weapons on him. Maybe not a one star, but I could put any of these weapons on him. Y'all seen me do it before. Y'all seen me test out all of these weapons on him, and he performed outstanding. Like normal. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't surprised. I already knew what he was going to do. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like you already know that. You already know what he's going to do. It don't matter what you put on him. He will always perform well, man. Always perform well. 
And then if you feel like, well, shit, you know what I'm saying, you only got a crit damage helmet, bam, just throw on crit rate, deathmatch, bam, there you go. Or if, if you got the wing J spear, you need some crit rate, bam. Now your alt should be around 40 to 50% and you should be critting with his alt back to back to back to back to back. So you know what I'm saying? Like he, he, he really is not a hard character to work with. The only hard part about him is that you need to make sure you level up his talents and make sure that you get his artifacts up. But you know what, since I'm on artifacts, let me go ahead and talk about this man artifacts too. It's not too difficult, you know what I mean? Like I run two piece Noblesse, two piece uh, Geo. And this is me running him as a support, but I could also use this as, you know what I'm saying, for him as a main DPS. But since I have Zhao on my team or anybody I would have him normally on my team, I have them as the main DPS, I just have him on the side. But if you're running him for main DPS too, dog, this man's physical damage is still through the roof. Put the Crescent Pike on this motherfucker with his physical build. Y'all seen that video, man. Y'all seen that video. This man is a beast. It don't matter what you put on him. It don't matter what you put on this man. And for normally for his like physical, I would run two piece blood stain for that physical damage, and I'll run two piece gladiator. Just for that extra attack, 18%. Just for that plus 18%, man. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first con, man. Of course not his ult, of course not his ult. It is this. This is the problem. You see how much resonance or energy he gets back for each time it ticks. That fucking sucks. That's one big problem. Well, I'm not gonna say it's a big problem, but I hate it so much because you really would want to have like another Geo character on the side of him just to make sure that he stays with full, um, you know, that way he gets enough energy back nonstop. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that is one big problem with him that I do not like. But I mean, it's fine because if you are able to use any kind of weapon or, you know what I'm saying, like placed out on him, like straight crit damage like I got with a little bit of crit chance and you're able to get your alt back pretty fast, like my alt don't come back too slow, but you know, it still takes time because of how long it takes just for these to resonate energy for me to get my alt back up. That's one thing. And since we're here, let me go ahead and just go with number two. The second con. When you're fighting people and I'm attacking and I'm maneuvering and stuff like that. And then I make a mistake and I hop up on this motherfucker's pillar. When I tell you that shit will happen to you a lot. I promise you that shit will happen to you a lot. Because you'll most likely have both your pillars next to you. And then when you're doing this and then you dodge, you can grab onto that pillar and fuck up. That shit happens to me so fucking much, man. Honestly, you know what? I can't even think about, um, let me think. Those are two cuz off the top that I can, oh, I got another one. I got another one. I got another con, man. And the third con, you are going to have to build this man. You have to build, don't think, oh, I, I could just keep all of his damn talents at like, Level three, level two, level four. No, the fuck you. You bet not. I, boy, you bet not. You will definitely be fucking let down. You need to build. You have to spend your mora. You have to spend resources to get this man up. But once you do, you will not regret it because this man can do everything by himself. Make sure like that is so important. You have to make sure that you level this man's talents up. You don't have to really get that many constellations, but you need to make sure that you level this man's talents up, bro. It is so important. His shield is amazing and only got it to level six, which is okay. You know what I mean? I could take it further, but I mean, my shield damn near barely even breaks now as it is, and it's at level six. But definitely make sure you level up his normal attack because he has really good normal attack damage. And of course, his planet, Bayfell, bro. Bayfar, you have to get this up. You have to. And then of course his artifacts, you need to make sure you 
Do not be skimpy with this man. Level up everything to 20 with him, man. Do not try to take the easy route. Do not. Not with him. Because once you give him what he needs, he will perform exactly like you want him to. I promise you. I promise you, man. But that's really all the cons I can really think about with this man. Like, can't think of anything else that's wrong with the motherfucker. Everything else is pretty damn good. Now, if I haven't convinced y'all yet, bro, I don't know. I guess y'all just need some help. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, if anybody in this game thinks Zhang Li was ever bad or is still bad, something is wrong with you. I promise you something is wrong with you, man. Because he is, he is too good, bro. This character is definitely top two. Top two best characters in the game. And on top of that, he looks phenomenal. Look at this man. Look at this man, bro. But that'll be the end of the video, man. I definitely appreciate y'all coming through. I was, again, I want to thank everybody that came through in the live stream. I appreciate all of y'all. And of course, I'm going to be streaming every single day. And I'll start streaming at 1 o'clock every single day. So definitely make sure y'all come through to see your boy, man. Definitely try to make sure y'all come through. Pick up, you know what I'm saying? Just say, hey, you know, see how everything going. And y'all can leave, man. But I really appreciate all of y'all for showing me so much support, man. It ain't going to be in no time that I become a Twitch partner. It's coming soon, y'all. It's coming soon. But all right, guys. You guys be safe.